I have this thing where I hate feeling stupid. I hate doing things for the first time because it like brings up some kind of just gross feeling that's probably from childhood, but um, usually it gets triggered if like, if I have to do something with my car, like vacuuming it, vacuuming the inside of the car because I have like bad memories associated with the vacuum. Um, recently, you know, Dan flew out to, to Omaha, Nebraska for a few days. So I have the house to, to myself and Thursday is trash day. So he's usually the one that, that brings the big thing of trash from the backyard to the front so that the trash people can pick it up. So I, I was like asking him, okay, so how do you, how do you do it? <laughs> And he like shows me, okay, here's how you open the gate. There's like this little thing. Well, I said, let me try it because I need to do it at least once so I know what to do. So I, I go out to the backyard and the gate is, it's like right next to the brick brick wall. So I like couldn't pull on the little thing because it was stuck. It was like stuck on the brick wall. And I'm like, he, Dan's standing right there and I'm getting pissed off. I'm like, I'm like, it's stuck. I can't. And, um, I just get, I start getting so mad at like the people that built this house and the landlord and all this shit. And I'm like, okay, stop. It's, it's obviously has shifted. And I, I was like, I was turning it into this huge issue of like, it's a gate. It should just open so smoothly. Like, why am I wasting time on this? So I became victimized in that moment, but I said, okay, so <laughs> The, the metal part is hot because the sun is out. We live in Arizona. So I'm going to need gloves. Okay, step one, I'm going to need gloves. So I, I'm going to go get gloves. Okay. And then I like try to pull it and it screeches really loud and it hurts my eardrums. I'm like, okay, step two, I'm going to need my earplugs. So I go in and I get the wax earplugs. And then I'm like, I literally can't pull this. Like, Okay, step three, I'm going to need to put on my tennis shoes like I'm doing a workout and then like pull it. Okay, got it. And so I thought the hardest part would be pulling the trash bin, which is full of trash, out to the front. And I was like, okay, that's not the hardest part. The hardest part is actually getting the gate open. So this is like a couple days ago. And Dan is like walking me through this and he's just laughing like, <laughs> like, oh my God. This is why he usually does that task. So I tell myself, okay, I'm not going to be a pussy over the trash, right? I like being independent. I like getting shit done. Surely I can handle this. I'm a strong person. Like physically I can lift stuff and whatnot, but I'm not going to let this thing throw my day off or my week off. I'm actually going to do it because otherwise we're going to have trash sitting there for an extra week and that's kind of gross. So, so this morning... Um, I was actually debating last night if I should take the trash out in the evening and just let it sit there, but, and I didn't, I like procrastinated it and I didn't. So this morning I was like, I was up early and I'm thinking, you know, they're gonna, sometimes they come early, the trash people come early. So if I'm going to do this, we're, we're going to, I better do it now. So, um, I took Sammy out, we went for a walk, our little dog and came back, gave her breakfast and I'm like, okay. It's 8 a.m. Let's go do the trash. Let's go take the trash out. So I open it. Um, I I touched the, the gate and I was like, that's not that hot because it was cloudy. I, I, I don't think I need my gloves. We can skip the gloves. Um, so I put the earplugs in just in case. And whoop, the gate, the gate opened. I had to pull on it a little bit, but it opened. I'm like, awesome. So I pulled the trash out. I'm like, okay, no one's dying. Whatever. Stupidness. All Whatever. I'm working through it. I'm working through the I feel stupid. This comes up like so many areas, like technology, where you're like trying to figure something out on your phone or a, a website thing, and you're just like, Ugh, like, I just don't like feeling stupid. But the fact of the matter is you're not going to not be stupid unless you actually do the thing that you don't know how to do. So doing something for the first time always feels awkward and uncomfortable. And then whatever story you have going on inside your brain, 
either makes it worse or it makes it neutral or makes it better. Like at some point I flipped my self-talk to where I was like, I've got this. I can actually handle this. I'm, I'm a strong person. I, I can figure this out. Like this is not going to end me. The trash is not going to end me. And I did it. <laughs> I like, I dragged the trash out there. And then the, the trash people came and I was like, woohoo, I did it. And I pulled the thing back in and I like did it again. I opened the gate again and I texted Dan, guess what? I took the trash out. <laughs> He's like, woohoo. <laughs> so stupid little shit can derail us. What is it for you? What's that thing that you're like, Ooh, I don't want to do it. Just do it. Just get it out of the way. And you know, I, um, I did a little tapping session. I, I love tapping. Like I just tap right here. Um, it's Meridian tapping. Before you do something really stressful or that you don't want to do, um, you can t just tap and say out loud what you're afraid of. And I literally went like this. I don't want to take the trash out. I don't want to take the trash out. I don't want to take the trash out. I like did that right there. And I was like, I, I'm afraid of looking stupid. I'm afraid of looking stupid. I'm afraid of looking stupid. I'm afraid of feeling stupid. I'm afraid of feeling stupid. I'm afraid of feeling stupid. So it kind of like dissipated that energy from my body. And then I, I just went and did it. So that's a little secret that I have for stuff like that, where they say never tap. Well, you can tap on like an emotional issue to just dissipate it. It kind of works, but thought I would share that. Don't let the small things trip you up. Just work through it, take the steps, break it down into ridiculous step one, step two, step three, if you have to, and just get it done. And then it feels really great after it's done, you're, you're free, you're free of that. <laughs>